Well, Republicans and Democrats are zeroing in on Hispanic voters. With the midterms now less than two months away, there's a new poll that shows inflation, abortion rights, jobs, gun safety, and health care are among some of the top concerns for Hispanic voters. But analysts noticing a shift among them in the 2020 presidential election. Nearly 4,000 Latinos shifted in favor of the Republican Party. Just over 350 shifted towards the Democratic Party. Texas and Pennsylvania were among the states where Latino voters shifted significantly towards the GOP. Michael Schnell, reporter from uh, our partners with The Hill, joining us live now. Great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So what is behind this shift uh, among Latino voters towards the Republican Party? One of the largest drivers we're seeing is focused on the economy. So uh, under under uh, in recent weeks, we've seen the economy sort of teetering downwards. Just this week, the stock market dropped 1,200 points. Inflation has been increasing. It hit a 40-year high recently. Uh, so the economy is really a driving factor here, and and it's what analysts and some voters are saying is driving some Democrats, some Latino Democrats, moving from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. Under the most recent uh, Republican president. And former President Trump, the, the economy was in a great place. The stock market was rising. Of course, that was before uh, the COVID-19 pandemic hit. But for the most of President Trump's uh, term in office, the economy was in good shape. Under President Biden's term, it's not as much. As I mentioned, the stock market is not as high. Inflation has been ticking upwards. So that's one of the driving factors that we're seeing behind the shift of Latino voters from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. Another thing some analysts and voters are saying, immigration policy. Some Latino Democrats are frustrated with Democratic efforts to attain legal status for undocumented immigrants. And some are also realizing that maybe a more secure border and being tougher at the border is better for the country. Less drug smuggling, uh, fewer fewer undocumented, undocumented immigrants coming over the border, uh, less drug trafficking. So those are the two main drivers that analysts and voters themselves are saying, hey, this is why I'm moving from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. Yeah, let's zero in on the border for a moment. I mean, do we have have any indication of how Latino voters are perceiving the situation there, especially as migrants are being bused to different cities now? Does this help or hurt the GOP with this voter base? Right now, in terms of reaction, because this is a new thing that we've seen, and there's not much polling out in terms of how Latino voters are reacting. But in terms of reaction, the main breakage point is among Democrats and Republicans. As expected, Democrats are railing against this, saying, uh, you know, Republicans are playing, poli are playing politics with human beings. And Republicans are, are backing up the effort. I specifically want to talk a little bit about what Hispanic Repub uh, what how Republican House members who are Hispanic on Capitol Hill are saying. My colleagues spoke to a handful of them yesterday, and while they didn't enthusiastically come behind the effort by some of these Republican governors to bus migrants to Democratic cities, they are saying that, hey, this strategy is putting a spotlight on some of the issues that we've been talking about at the border. And they're saying hopefully President Biden will realize that because the, these number of undocumented immigrants are coming over the border, he'll do something about it. So Hispanic Republicans on Capitol Hill not coming out, again, not coming out behind it with fanfare, but realizing that, hey, there may be a point to this strategy. Yeah, and nuanced issue. And uh, certainly interesting points you bring up. Michael Schnell, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.